Hey guys, welcome to Mellow Smoke and Steve's. Today we're going to be doing a review. That's right, a review on the Power Air Fryer Pro 10 in 1. Uh, we just got this a few days ago and I've already done a couple of cooks on it and I wanted to do a review on it in case you wanted to pick one up. Uh, I'm really impressed with it and I look forward to doing a lot of cooks on it and uh, sharing those videos with you. So uh, let's get started. Uh, what it comes with, first of all, uh, you get this uh, owner's manual right here. Okay, that's going to give you some of the, the warnings of uh, what not to do and what you can do and so forth and some operating instructions. And uh, also you get this quick start guide. Okay, I would suggest you uh, go ahead and read the owner's manual, uh, get familiar with the unit. But here's a quick start guide. And also guys, uh, they've included uh, three cookbooks. America's Favorite. And I've thumbed through here and there's a lot of great recipes in here that I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna be cooking them up and uh, seeing how they turn out. Also we have a rotis rotisserie uh, cookbook. I'm excited about that. And also, this thing is a dehydrator. And we're gonna have a cookbook for that as well. So, uh, gonna be a lot of recipes in here. Got a lot of good stuff in here. So, uh, let's get over to the unit and I'll show you a little bit about it. Okay, here's the air fryer. Uh, I think they call this color seafoam. Uh, they come in various colors and uh, we'll open her up here. Got three nice shelves so you can stack your stuff up in there. The shelves pull out. This particular combination uh, came with a rotisserie right here. Okay, that's simply a uh, clamps onto your meat and goes in there and it'll rotate for you. And this is your uh, uh, rotisserie uh, removal tool. And this here, when you get done cooking on the rotisserie, you can put that in that little stand and uh, get the uh, meat removed from that. And it also comes with a pair of gloves. So let's get back over the unit and go over some of the controls. Okay, let's go ahead and power her up. That's the power button. And uh, you have uh, over here on the left, you have a French fry icon, steak, fish, shrimp, pizza, chicken, cake, this is your rotisserie, this is your dehydrator, and this is your warm function right here. And down here you have uh, uh, your interior light, of course the power button, and this starts your rotisserie right here. And uh, let's just go ahead and select one. Uh, let's select the uh, steak. So once we select steak, that automatically sets the temperature at 350 and it cooks for 25 minutes. And I don't know whether you heard that or not, but the unit did start up and it's heating up now and uh, it'll be counting down from 25 minutes to zero. And uh, once it gets down to uh, zero, it's gonna beep for you and let you know it's done. But uh, on a steak, uh, you're gonna to wanna to flip that over, probably in the middle of the cook, so you can get a sear on each side. And also, uh, on meat, you don't necessarily wanna trust the uh, time. Uh, steaks come in different thicknesses and it's, they're just gonna take different amounts of time to cook. Depending on how you like it, you, want it, you probably should use a uh, thermometer and uh, check the internal temperature of the meat. 
And on steak, uh, we like ours about 140 degrees internal temperature. So when I cook my steak, I'll be taking the internal temperature of the steak and pulling it out of there when it's 140. I'm not going to just rely on the 25 minutes. Um, 25 minutes could be too long and maybe it's going to overcook the meat and dry it out a little bit. Okay. Uh, and uh, also, if uh, you don't like the set temperature, like on the steaks, it was 350 in 25 minutes. You could also change the temperature over here, plus or minus. You could either raise or lower that temperature uh, from 350 to higher or lower. And also the time, over here there's a little clock. You have the plus and minus, and you can also change the amount of time from uh, 25 minutes to either higher or lower. So that's uh, all the icons. So that's open her up. And when you open her up, the light comes on and the unit shuts off. Okay. If you want to check on it, you can open it up and uh, check on it without the uh, heat being on. And when you close her back up, picks up right where it left off. 24 minutes left and still cooking at 350. So if you open it up in the middle of the cook to flip the uh, uh, steaks or whatever you may be cooking, uh, it's going to pick up right where it left off. So uh, let's take a look at that rotisserie. Okay, here's the uh, rotisserie accessory. Uh, these prongs right here uh, have one on each side uh, that'll clamp into your meat and uh, there's a little thumb screw here uh, where that'll come off. You slide that rod through your meat first then uh, what you do is put these clamps on insert those in the meat that meat secured in there. And then uh, you want to put this in the unit. And there's a little red uh, lever right here. Uh, you want to push that to the right. And that will uh, release this little hub over here on the left. So we're going to push this to the right. That little hub went in. So that'll give us room to insert the rotisserie. Okay, now it's in there, and uh, when you get ready to remove the meat, uh, you got this little tool here, so I'll simply go in there, push the lever over, and remove it with this. So let's go ahead and uh, get it fired up. Okay, we're going to, we had our steaks cooking before, we're going to get that uh, canceled out. So we're going to shut, shut the power off. It'll continue to uh, cool itself down even after it's off. You just want to let it cool down a little bit and then you can open the door. Okay, that indicates that it's done and uh, it's cooled off. And you can go ahead and take your steaks out. Okay, so uh, let's pretend like we just put the rotisserie in. We've got a chicken on there and we're going to fry it up. Okay, so let's hit the power button. Here's a chicken on a rotisserie. Let's hit that. That shows 30 minutes. And right here at 375. And right here's the rotisserie. We're going to go ahead and hit that. Okay, I'm going to turn the light on. Okay, if you can see in there, the rotisserie's turning and rotating for us. It's automatically set for 375 and set for 30 minutes. Now if we wanted to 
cook it a little uh, cooler or a little hotter, all we have to do is hit the plus or minus, or uh, a longer time or shorter time, plus or minus on the timer. Uh, but uh, there again, we want to cook by temperature of the meat. So I would suggest uh, checking that meat temperature. Uh, we want to get that temperature up to 165 degrees, and uh, then it'll be done. Guys, uh, I'm really excited about this unit here. Uh, I've already cooked some uh, New York strip steaks in it. I've cooked a chocolate cola cake in it. That's right, cake. And it really turned out good. The steaks were awesome. Uh, be sure to check out those videos and that'll uh, show you further how this thing works. And uh, it's turned out some good food so far. And I really look forward to a lot more cooks with it and I want to share those with you as well. So uh, I'm going to put a link underneath the video in the description uh, where you can click on it and uh, uh, check it out further. Look, maybe some of the features, uh, price it out. Maybe check some of the competitors, whatever you want to do. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sold on this unit. And it does fit underneath the countertop. If you have room on your countertop for it, it does fit underneath your counter. That's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I hope to see you on the next one.